As website building platforms get more and more mature, it's time to think what would be the right solution for you in 2019. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to this kind of review comparison between Wix, Squarespace and Webflow. Now, before we get started, two important disclaimers. So as you've seen in the intro thing, my channel is sponsored by Webflow. And so you might be thinking, ah, oh, this review is going to be biased and it's not going to be honest and there's no value for this for me because he's going to pitch us Webflow. And so I just want to say, basically, you, you are right. I am biased. But in, in this comparison, I'm going to show you why I think Webflow is the right solution for me. It might not be the right solution for you. So I want to explain the different needs of different people and so that you can understand what would be the right solution for you specifically. Now, second disclaimer is this review is oriented at designers. The the audience of this of my YouTube channel is designers. And so if you are a small business owner wanting to build your own website, this video might be valuable for you, but it was not recorded with you in mind. I am talking to designers who want to build kind of their skill set or need to build a website as part of their, their business, their freelance, their services, and want to pick the platform that is right for them. Okay, I think all disclaimers are done. We can get started. So I want to start with Wix. So first of all, first things first, I think Wix is a great company. Wix is, uh, is an Israeli company. It was started in Israel. I live in Israel. And so a lot of my friends, uh, designer friends are working at Wix. It's really a great company, a uh, great place to work at. And they're, they're actually doing a lot for the design community, both in Israel and globally. They're sponsoring a lot of desi design events and they're really supporting the community. So I think it's a great company. But here's the thing to understand about Wix. Wix was started with small business owners in mind, not in designers in mind. And so what their product is aiming to do is to simplify the process, to make it kind of a, a web design tool for dummies, which is, again, it could be the right thing for you. And I want to give you kind of an example. So I'm, I'm kind of mentoring a designer in one of the startups that I work with and she's she's a product designer. So like 95% of her work is doing product design, designing dashboards and stuff like that. 5% of her work is helping out with some marketing stuff. And last week she had to build two very simple landing pages for, for an app. So again, it's not part of her work. She usually doesn't do that. And she's not like a, a web designer. She's more of a product designer. Now she really needed to do this fast because it was like a campaign that had to do you know, had to happen from today to tomorrow. And she had to, you know, do something really, really simple. So the right solution for her was weeks because she could get started with a template right away, just replace the screenshot, just edit the text, change the logo. And she had a website hosted, ready to go in like a couple of hours. So for her, that was the right solution because you know, when she told me, I was like, hey, maybe you'll use Webflow. But then she was like, ah, now I have to learn Webflow. There's a big learning curve. And in any case, there's not enough time to start thinking about custom design. She didn't even have a design. Like she didn't design the website in Sketch or anything. She just used the template, customized it a little bit and poof, off we go. So in that case, that was a good solution for her. And, you know, as I said, the, the biggest pro for Wix is that it's super, super simple. You can use that even if you're not like a Wix user, you can learn it in, in seconds because you have ready-made components and that could be really, really simple for you. The, the cone of that is that it's really, really hard dash impossible to create super custom design and to really implement your vision. If you have a design, if you have a design in sketch and you want to build it and it's not like the standard layout that like 94% of the web looks like if you have a, you know, a unique grid, if you need to do unique interactions, you're not going to be able to do that with Wix. Um, also a thing about Wix, there's a big kind of ecosystem of apps that can work with it and you can extend your website. So that might be also something depending on your use case that might be interesting for you. Now, Squarespace, I would say that it is the like handsome brother of Wix in, in a sense, they're both, I, I would say that they had in mind, not maybe not small business owners, more like artists, musician, craftspeople, and, and also kind of a boutique business owner. So when you use Squarespace, which is basically the same, it's template based and you, you choose a template and you customize it. 
but it feels so slick. They have really, really nice, nicely designed template. So you really feel like you are, um, I would say maybe a person who cares about design. And so for a lot of people, artists and people who build portfolios, um, that's also a very good solution. Now, I had a review, I don't remember if it was last year or two years ago, where I compared Webflow to Squarespace and people were, and I explained why it's uh, difficult to do some customizations. And people were telling me in the comments, probably rightfully so, that the fact that I i don't know Squarespace like deeply made some things harder for me, but actually they're possible. And it is probably true, but to really customize uh, the design itself. And as I said, like in weeks, some things are just not possible in Squarespace. They might be possible to do really custom, custom design, implement custom design, but it will require you to implement and write code and change CSS, which a lot for a lot of designers, that's like impractical. You know, I either have to hire somebody to do that because most designers, you know, we don't want to sit down and write CSS code and manipulate the code ourselves, you know, like, it doesn't matter, I know how to code, I still don't wanna spend my time doing this. So it's still very much oriented for like the, the use case is take a template, change the images, change the text and work with it. Now, Webflow is different in a sense that Webflow, I wouldn't know if to even call it a website builder. I would actually say that it is a development platform, but that had designers in mind. So it wasn't designed for business owners, it was designed for designers. And that means that you're actually developing, right? you use kind of web components such as divs and, and manipulating CSS and stuff like that. But without, instead of doing it like in code, like in Squarespace, you have like a very intuitive UI that you is kind of similar to what you're used to in design software. And you can manipulate the, the actual CSS HTML components visually without writing code. And that allows you to actually implement any design you want, really custom you know, interactions, custom layouts, and create really, really high-end, beautiful, custom website. Now, why, I, why is it a good solution for me specifically? I think that as time goes on, you know, and, and templates are becoming, it's kind of a commodity and, and certain types of design are becoming commoditized right now. And so because I am, you know, a freelancer and I aim to be a high value freelancer, you know, working with great clients, charging a lot of money for the website that I design and build, I need to do something unique and special for my clients. I can't just pick a template and customize it for them because then they would rightfully so say, why would you charge me $10,000, $20,000 for a website when I can get this template for $50 for like a WordPress template, or I can just use like a Wix template for it. I don't need your like, where's the value in, you know, the, the, the $20,000 that you're charging me. And the value that I provide them is to actually think, you know, and customize the solution for them and create something really unique and special for them. And that kind of a design, I can only implement and be like fully, freely creative with Webflow. Now, as I said before, um, or mentioned briefly, Webflow does have, because it's actually a development platform, it does have a learning curve. So it's not as easy, like if you don't know nothing about Webflow, you probably won't be able to, you know, just open it up and like build a website in three hours because there is a learning curve. You have to understand the basic concept of the web, how to structure things properly, how to make it responsive and how to, you know, build things correctly and properly so that you can actually implement this custom design. So there is kind of a learning curve for you. But for me, because this is such a core service in my business, you know, web design, it's really a, was like the, the, the ROI of actually investing in learning the skill was like tremendous because I did spend like a few months where I built a website and it did take me a while and I did have to kind of make revisions. But right now, my ability to kind of master that tool and be able to, you know, crank out like a custom design website in hours. And again, as I said, I'm charging high prices for them. I don't have to outsource this to a developer. I don't have to, you know, rely on the template. Then, you know, the, the return on investment is really, really huge. So again, 
I really think it depends on who you are, where you are in your career right now and what you're trying to do. If you are somebody who sells web design services or you know you you are not somebody who just picks templates and because for example, let me give you an example. A lot of designers, some of them are like, yeah, my main thing is branding, but then clients at the end ask for a website. So I just, you know, take the website, the branding that I did for them, I slap it on some kind of a, a template and I give it to them. It's okay, it's not my core service. It's okay, I would say that you're leaving money on the table, but it's totally fine. But for somebody who's like, wanna make web design their core offering, I think that you have to be able to provide value well above the template and so investing in learning that skill is yeah i think it's worthwhile so if you haven't checked out webflow before and you think based on this video that it might be a good fit for you give it a try uh, if you don't know i've also created the webflow masterclass which is the fastest way to actually learn and master webflow so check the link in the description if you think that this is a good fit for you now let's make 2019 awesome talk to you tomorrow I'm gonna go